But while I have you on, would you be able to um, give us an update about what's going on in the situation in, in India? So I don't know that everybody knows exactly what happened in India. Um, there's not been enough testing of the virus there to know if this was all um, a new variant, you know, the Indian variant uh, that emerged. Um, but we know that uh, not you know, they don't have high vaccination rates in India yet. Um, they're not using the same vaccines that we are. Um, so possibly, probably are they using something different? Was a combination. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Are, you, are they using a different vaccine? Like something that the country they're developed? They're not using or? as much of the AstraZeneca. Um, I'm sorry. They do have um, their homegrown vaccines. They have AstraZeneca. I do not believe they have a lot of Pfizer uh, or Moderna. Um, and the, the, um, the construction of those vaccines that they were using in India, they may not be as effective as the vaccines we're using in the US. We know their vaccination rates were not as high. Um, early on, they didn't seem, I mean, very early on, there were a lot of deaths in India from the vaccine, but the vac cases dropped. Um, and I think they thought that they had um, turned the corner. They had a lot of religious festivals, pilgrimages, large rallies, um, and then they got this second wave. So my belief is it's a combination of a lack of immunity, possibly a new variant thrown in, but also relaxing too soon. Um, just thinking that the crisis was over and allowing large gatherings and rallies um, without proper protection. Um, and now you can see what's happening um, there. Yeah. But we can also look at what's happening in, in South America. They are also suffering from um, really uh, fierce COVID waves right now. Um, and again, it just shows how important it is to, you know, I, nobody expects this public health emergency to last forever. Nobody wants it to last forever. But until you get a certain amount of the population vaccinated and also get the rates really low, you really have to be cautious. And you know, CDC is projecting that cases will continue to decrease through the summer, but we also know it's not even. So in the United States as a whole, cases are dropping, but in Indiana, they're rising. Um, and why that is, I think is complicated. Um, it's already May, so it may or may not be related to March Madness. Um, we just don't know. Um, it could be spillover from Michigan. I mean, who knows at this point, but not everybody is going to follow the same trajectory at the same time. I think we've seen this over and over in the last 14 months where you'll have hotspots in some parts of the country and then hotspots elsewhere. Yeah. And it's really variable. I, I'm still, um, you know, outdoors, I feel fine not wearing my mask if I'm not in a crowd, but I'm still wearing my, my handy dandy mask in indoor settings if I'm not in my own house. Um, oh, same here, yeah. <laughs> um, I, mean, I think we'll still have to be really careful and look around and understand this is not going to be one steady decline. Um, this could be a very stuttering decline. Uh, again, Indiana, our cases have been dropping and now they're rising again. Hopefully they will drop again, but people need to still be careful and wear masks um, and hopefully get vaccine um, right. at the well, nearest opportunity. I'll, I'll just put a plug out to Mary, if you'll forgive yeah. me. Go ahead. You know, Eskenazi Health is now taking walk-ins at our vaccine site. Um, it's open Monday through Saturday, nine to six. Tom, that's correct, right? Yeah, Tom's nodding. Okay, so you'll edit that part out, right? <laughs> um, um, okay, well, that's great. We'll definitely have a link to that on our website and make sure that everybody knows yeah. that you guys are now accepting walk-ins. Um, so and, just, and, oh, and much, and Mary, much as I would love people to come to Eskenazi, you know, CVS and Walgreens are also taking walk-ins. They're, you know, there's CVS and Walgreens all over the city. Mm -hmm. all over the state yeah um there's vaccine available right we just want to make sure it's available that everybody can get it and that it's there when they they want to uh when they i don't know they could make that decision and say walk by and say yeah mm -mm, i'll go yeah uh, who knows yes. but uh, it, it could be 
it can be a last minute decision, right? Yes, exactly. You getting your, your uh, prescription at CVS and just get the vaccine. Yeah, I mean, and then, so just speaking of vaccine, last question, I'm so sorry to keep you so long, but um, Indiana has about uh, 2 million people vaccinated. Okay, what are your thoughts on how we're doing in terms of vaccines? Being well, fully vaccinated. I, I think the state rollout was very effective. Um, I, I don't think the current lag is lack of vaccine, right? Originally in December, we didn't have enough vaccine for everybody and we did not allow everybody to get vaccine. Now we have vaccine. So availability is not the issue. Um, there is vaccine out there for people who want it. Um, like you said, I think there are pockets of people who are still hesitant. And again, <clears throat> I've said this many times, what, what what data are you waiting for? We we already know well over 550,000 people, uh, higher than that, have died in the United States alone. We know that these newer variants um, seem to be more severe. Um, we we know it's not gone, um, and we know the vaccine is safe. Like. All, all the data says that our vaccines are very safe and very effective. Um, yeah. And it's not like influenza. Some people are still saying this is just like influenza and it just isn't. Um, over 14 month span in the United States um, in my lifetime, right? In the lifetime of anybody watching this show, you've never had an influenza season that killed more than 550,000 people. Yeah, wow. Put it and put those numbers in that time frame yeah or write a flu season that's lasted 15 oh, 18 months who knows right? right i mean yeah wow that's a great way to put it um dr kresel always great to see you thank you so much for your time